Good morning, folks. Uh, welcome to Quantsap. This is Vicky Sajnani here. Let's get started with the morning market brief. Seventeen thousand six eighty two, twenty seven points negative, point one five percent down. Nifty shut shop yesterday. Thirty nine thousand eight one two, one hundred and eight points down, point two seven percent down. Nifty Bank. So let's see whether uh, SGX Nifty is positioned. SGX Nifty is pointing to a uh, close to 200 points cut, 197 points cut as of now, uh, 74.85. So expected to open it around close to 7,500 levels. That's the sense. So the technical levels would be, if it opens close to 7,500, 7,200, 17,000. Two major levels on the lower side, 17,850 and 18,000 are the two resistance points. Uh, we maintain those levels as of now because markets are dilly dallying between these levels. As far as the OI picture is concerned, uh, 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 from the futures angle, uh, you are seeing some short build up coming in uh, into Nifty. We'll see how that pans out during the day because there has been uh, quite a few times when Nifty actually goes down and then midday it starts moving on the higher side. Uh, of course, 17200 happens to be the strong level on the lower side, which needs to be uh, observed as of now. Again, technical levels uh, as per the OI picture of options, 17800, 18,000 are the two major levels and the lower side, 17400, 500 range. And then you have, of course, markets are expected to open close to 17,500. So considering that 17,200 and 17,000 happens to be the major, major level, 17,000 as per the OI picture. Looking at Bank Nifty, again, you have 40,000 and 41,000 are the two major levels on the higher side. Uh, of course, intermittent uh, psychological level of 4,500 could play out. On the lower side, you have uh, 39,000, which is going to act as a major support zone for Bank Nifty. Again, uh, looking at the OI picture, uh, you saw some amount of long unwinding happening. So let's see how that pans out, uh, if that aggravates into a short uh, positions. But there have not been any much shorts in the entire system uh, as far well as uh, Bank Nifty is concerned. Looking at the OI picture again, you see 39,000 and 40,000 are the two major levels uh, for uh, Bank Nifty. Top gainers and losers Apollo, Sriram Transport Finance, Ambuja Cement are the gainers. ICICI, GI, uh, General Insurance, uh, that's uh, on the negative bench. And then you have uh, Bajaj FinServe and uh, Tata Consumer. Looking at the index contribution, 10.2 uh, points uh, coming in positive from the telecom sector, 20 points negative from FMCG, IT positioning, uh, nine points negative, uh, auto minus five points, close to minus five points negative, NBFC 14 points negative. So we had uh, telecom and oil, which were uh, uh, gainers uh, or contributing on the positive side with uh, respect to the Nifty yesterday. As far as the built up is concerned, auto ancillary cement metals are on the positive side. Cap goods, FMCG fertilizer on the negative end. We have uh, one stock uh, looking at it. Uh, 990 is the major support zone for Muthut Finance. So on the breakdown of 990, you could. Uh, see a uh, uh, next major level of about uh, 960 on the lower side. As far as uh, the moving average is concerned, that's hovering close to around 103040 levels. Uh, looking at the resistance points, 1088, 1138, that is 1140 thereabouts. So those are the resistance points for uh, Mutul Finance. Looks like uh, 1,000 is going to be the litmus test for this stock. So let's see how it pans out. Uh, looking at some short built-ups here, 
uh, intermittent longs coming in, but uh, on an overall basis, uh, you are seeing some shorts coming in into the system. As far as the OI picture from options is concerned, you have 1100 as a major resistance level and 1000 as the support zone being indicated by the options. We have JSW Steel, the other stock looks like it's, uh, uh, you know, you could uh, sense that, okay, there is some positive tinge here. 704, five uh, levels and then 720 levels. On the lower side, major support is at 655 and 640. So that's the picture uh, we get. On a momentum above uh, 690, 700 levels, uh, uh, the trajectory opens up for about 720 plus levels. Uh, that's the scenario which we get. As well as JSW Steel, uh, open interest picture is concerned. Not much uh, signals coming out from there. Looking at the open interest picture from the options end, uh, you are seeing 700 as a major resistance level. 720, as we discussed, is the next one. Uh, on the support zone, you have major uh, 680 as the major support zone for this stock. In the band list, you have Delta Corp, which is in the band list as of now. And uh, sectoral long buildup, it should read as auto ancillary, cement, and metals. Uh, of course, cap goods, FMCG fertilizer is the short buildup. Uh, you have uh, uh, Nifty trading range, uh, 17,200 major support zone, and 17,000 as the next major, major level. Uh, 17,850, 18,000, considering 17,500 thereabouts is the, going to be the opening for Nifty. Bank Nifty, 39,000, 38,500. Resistance points, 40,000, 40,500. Uh, Muthut Finance and GSW Steel, we have already discussed that. Uh, and band list to Delta Corp. Uh, before ending, I would like to say that uh, these are informational purposes. And uh, please, please consult your financial advisor before stepping into these trades. And also we uh, recommend that you follow strict stop losses while trading in the derivatives market because following discipline is extremely important. Uh, wish you happy trading and that's all from my side. All the best.